Hi, Ruth here, and here is Shout Out Sunday number 16. Now, this is just like, you know, basically for a big, huge thank you for all of you that has commented consistently or subscribed recently or even stayed subscribed. <laughs> um, so let's just get to it. We actually have a couple new people on here, so that's a change. So, uh, for, uh, coming back for more is Dark Magician 81. Great channel. Go check his out. You know, for Yu-Gi-Oh! and, um, Pokemon content. Then there's Juan River. Very nice guy. Um, video about the cards he sent me will be up soon. Hopefully this week, maybe. I'll have to consult my schedule later. Um, then here's a new person. A tiger lily, I believe. It's very nice. Um, there is TJ Gaming. New choose Pokemon. Little Dream. Winged Dragon of Ra. And another new person is Samu Cosmog. Now he does do Pokemon content too, but they are, I believe it's Spanish. So I did watch a video, just, you know, to see. It's very nice, kind of cool pull on that uh, Dawn, Wing, Dawn Wings box. Uh, I didn't understand a word of it, so uh, I just, you know, watched the pictures, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. But it's a very good channel, anyway. Um, here is a couple of uh, links, or whatever, of the people that I bought from recently. So there is a uh, Kabutiops, Pokemon John, uh, underscore John. Well, you'll see it in the description box below because I'll have all the links below so you can find them easier. Then there is Chris Pokemon Card Shop. Uh, Gifted Psyduck. Which the video of his was up last week, I believe. Maybe. Um, Meg's Toy Reviews. Awesome, awesome. A YouTuber and very nice person. And friend. Um, J underscore the underscore Pokemon underscore lover. It's a very nice person as well. Sells loads of cards and stuff and is currently selling loads of cards and stuff right now. So go check her Instagram thing out and get in a good deal. Cause she's got good deals and yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, next on the list is Janken Kuji, which is where I got all my stuff from my anime haul. Very nice person, peoples. Anyway, and I recently bought some more from them. <laughs> so that will probably come up maybe next month or something when they ship it. Or when I finish actually adding to the order. <laughs> um, uh, there's Duskmane underscore McCrozma. Weedle guy. Or Weedle underscore guy, which I just finished recording the video of the cards that I bought from him, so that will be up in a while when I get a third or fourth person to add to that video, because I recorded it with the Pokemon underscore John's most recent plush that I bought from him. Um, and finally, there's Pikachot. Very nice guy, too. Um, actually, most of the ones that I've interacted with on uh, Instagram are very nice. So, yeah. Um, so the aim of the game is, if you want a shout out, you either ask for one, like TJ Gaming did, or you comment twice between now and the next shout out video, which I always check the comments. Uh, before I make this video so I don't miss anybody out. But this is also a reason why I hold the comments for approval so I can actually read all of them and not miss them. Because I don't want to miss anybody's comments. I mean, you take the time to write it, so I'll take the time to read it, you know? Um, so I can shout out, you know, Instagram is what I've done below. Or, you know, other YouTube or Twitter or whatever other social media if you want. You just send the link to me and I'll put it in the description saving you to put it yourself whatever 
Um, that's it for the shout outs. So I thought I might as well add this at the end because I actually didn't do very much on today's Pokemon Community Day because I was in church. So I didn't have enough time to play really, which is unfortunate. I wish they did it on a Saturday because then I'd have time to do it, you know? And I'd need probably, you know, if need be, want to drive me to places. Because, like, in my village, there is only one Pokestop, and that's the church. But I went to a different church, so that didn't really count. Um, there is no gyms whatsoever, so I have not been able to do... I've been able to do one raid after when I went to a town. But I don't normally go out, so... That's completely bogus. I mean, there is only one Pokestop in this entire village. There is no gyms, no nothing else, whatever there would be anything else. And like, in the middle of nowhere, and in my street where I live, no Pokemon show up whatsoever. It's like a dead zone or something. That might be because it's around loads of trees and the signal's not very good, but still, it's like completely a dead end. Though my street is a dead end anyway, but still, totally dead, like zippo. Um, okay, ran mini rant over. <laughs> I went a bit on the tangent there, didn't I? Um, let's see. Oh yes, by the way, sorry for not replying as soon as possible because I kind of forgot to actually look at the comments this week. <laughs> I was doing other things and, you know. I actually finally got around to buying a booster box and a elite trainer box for Forbidden Light. And I've been recording stuff like that. I haven't actually gotten around to editing it yet, but I've had to, you know, rename the video files so I don't mix them up when I smush them together. Because when I have to focus on my camera, I have to end the video and start a new video file. Because my camera doesn't focus automatically. Because it's mainly for pictures instead of videos. It's nice it has a video function though. But I had that like ages and ages ago. In like 2000 and uh, and uh, when is that? About 2000 and eight or something? Because I think that's when I got it for my birthday present when I was in year 10 when I was doing photography for GCSEs and I am actually still have it works fine I only dropped it like three times slight scratch on the screen but that's okay I mean I'm surprised it lasted that long and it's like from 2008 to 2018 it lasted a longer time than I thought it would but yeah Though, ever since I started recording videos for this thing, I've had to buy a spare couple batteries because I keep on running out of batteries. But there are the cheap batteries, so I don't know if I can find a not cheap one that lasts longer. I don't know. But yeah. So I guess that's basically it. Um... I'm pretty sure I pass on the Acubenta box for July. Probably. Um, and obviously the Wizarding World box is hopefully going to come before my birth. No, it wouldn't come before my birthday. It'd come after my birthday. Because my birthday's on the 19th, by the way. And I've just had my sister buy me the uh, Jigglypuff Build-A-Bear online. So I've got that in a box outside of my room because I have no room in my room for a box just lying around you know so I can't wait to open that and show you a video of that when I do like my birthday haul thing which probably won't be much but I'm planning on going to the arcade in Cardiff hopefully it's got a good stuff I haven't been to that certain arcade because last year I went to the uh, Hollywood Bowl one in the Red Dragon Center which that's okay but I only really liked a couple games on it. So hopefully this, uh, I guess it's called the Super Bowl. That's in the View Cinema building. So hopefully this, uh, this blah, um, arcade will be much more fun and have 
better prizes than the last one. Though I did manage to actually use a thousand and so tickets, so hopefully it'd be good this time. Um, well I've been rambling, haven't I? Um, well I guess until next time, ring that doorbell. Um, though I guess I haven't really explained that, don't I? Yeah, remember when people normally say ring the notification bell or, you know, whatever stuff? You know, it's kind of generic and a little bit boring, so I thought I'd, you know, spice it up a bit. So, as I said, ring that doorbell for future video notifications. And like and subscribe for more. Over and out.